How's it going, you beauties? And producer guy, film. We got a special video today because you know what? I reached out to one of my favorite content creators, and that is Neil from Post to Post. And I'm like, hey, buddy, do you want to collab? And he's like, who are you again? No, I'm totally kidding. Super nice guy. I love Neil. He's a great dude. Uh, he's like, you know what, man? Absolutely. What were you thinking? And I'm like, why don't we talk about our three favorite hockey video games? And he's like, you know what? That's a great idea. And we'll do like some cross promoting thing. I'm like, that sounds even better, actually. Hey, sick. So what we've done is he's going to list his top three on my channel and I'm going to do my top three on his channel. Neil's a great dude. Make sure you subscribe to Post to Post. I'm going to put his link in the description down below and you got to go check him out, man. He does basically NHL content. Him, um, all of his friends, all of his cohorts, they uh, do uh, videos about hockey almost every day. It's super top notch. It's high quality. It's amazing. Definitely go check it out. And Neil, buddy, go ahead, take it away with your three favorite hockey video games. Hey everyone, my name's Neil and I have a channel called Post to Post and Phil came to me and he's like, buddy, we gotta collaborate. And I was like, heck yeah, so let's do it. And he gave me an idea to talk about our favorite video games. And we made an agreement where we picked two or three. I settled on three, I think he settled on three too. You can go over to my channel and check out his list here. Uh, maybe in the upcoming days, I'm not exactly sure when, when I'm going to post it and when he's going to post this, but definitely come check out Post to Post. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. We talk hockey on a daily basis. That'd be awesome. So to get to my list, uh, it was tough. There was a couple of games that I had to leave off the list that I didn't really want to leave off the list, but I have to start with my number one. I used to keep it in this. Yes, a fanny pack. I was very popular with the ladies, as you can tell. But I used to carry around my Game Boy and this Montreal Canadiens fanny pack. And I had a teal uh, Game Boy color, a see-through regular uh, Game Boy, I had some other games in here, Driver, Pokemon, classic, come on now. James Bond, 007, Tetris, the most classic of them all. And the game that spent the most time in that slot is NHL 2000. So this is, uh, these aren't like ranked, this isn't my like all-time favorite one, I'm just talking about this one first, but NHL 2000 for the Game Boy, wow, have I gone through pounds of batteries in this thing playing NHL 2000. It was my go-to. I played it so much. Uh, endless road trips to hockey games. I used to play hockey back in the day as a kid and used to spend all of my time playing my Game Boy one in the in the van and stuff on the way there and on the way back. Wow, I played that game a lot. It was awesome. I'm actually gonna have to maybe put some new batteries in this and load it up and, and play an old game just for just for fun. Moving on to the second game, I would have to include NHL 96 for Super Nintendo. Ah, oh, so many good memories, so many good sound clips like this. Offside. Offside. <laughs> it's classic. Uh, it's, I think there's a few emul emulators you can download and stuff to get that uh, playing on your computer now, so I'm gonna have to do that because I'm pretty sure my Super Nintendo doesn't actually work anymore. Ugh. That's okay though. Uh, so I just have so many vivid memories of being a kid in my room playing NHL 96 with the little controller and uh, getting so angry and throwing the remote and uh, uh, or the controller, sorry, and yeah, good times, but uh, I hope to play that again someday. And this, the third one on my list is one I really struggled with, yes, because I kind of went back and forth between a couple and then I thought, oh wait, Blades of Steel? How could I not have Blades of Steel on my list? It's freaking amazing! It, I remember it, it being like, I think the first v hockey video game that has kind of the broadcaster view from a side angle onto the ice instead of above or on top. So you get, it, it was revolutionary. It was revolutionary. It blew my mind. And I played that endlessly with my friends. Uh, wow, what a, what a game. I, I don't know if you guys remember any of these games. All of my choices are old school. From when I was a kid, I don't get a chance to play as much video games now as I'd like. Uh, but yeah, all of my choices are old school. Just a, I'm a very uh, nostalgic person. So whenever I look back on stuff like that, I have a lot of good, happy memories. Uh, so this was an awesome uh, experience, Phil. Thank you very much for, for bringing up that topic. I had a lot of fun thinking about it and going back through. And uh, it took me forever to find this. And you gave me a reason to find it and, and haul it back out. So uh, just that in itself is, is a gift. So, so, so thank you very much, Phil. I really appreciate it. Uh, hope to work with you in the future, in person, maybe in the summer. Looking forward to that. Head on over to Post to Post, guys, if you uh, had fun watching me here. I've got all kinds of stuff over on my channel, too. So thank you very much, and I'll see you later. Adios.